Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can be making a 3D NFT just from a PNG picture. So the first thing that we want is a PNG picture. So I'm going to be searching man standing. And we can see if we find something that we like to use. Okay guys, I just found something that we're going to use, man standing. So just right click, save the picture. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop and just call it man.png after you have uh, found your picture and saved it we're going to be going to remove background and you will be clicking the first link which is remove.pg now you can just drag that picture into here and you have uh, this picture without the background very easily and also download that and once you have downloaded that you want to be uh, putting that on your desktop and press uh, rename and call it man.png now we can go to the next step and that is open this I'm gonna be um, putting the link in the description so you can find uh, it there you want to scroll down and you want to find the clone uh, PFE HD repository press on this here warning this notebook was not ordered by Google anyway run that it can take some time to to, uh, to clone. Once that is done, we want to go down and we want to also do the same with configure input data. Do that. That sounds good. I think we are ready to go now. So what you want to be doing next is you want to be clicking this icon and you want to be uh, pressing under P. Uh, PUF HD and be finding images sample images press here press on here upload so here we have man.png reminder uploads will get deleted when this runtime is recycled okay so here is our code and as you can see it says test.png but we want to be uh, removing that and writing man to uh, I don't know why it says to man and uh, for me it was uh, man to the name is called so after that actually let's just rename this to just man.png right that's easier and now we are ready to run that okay once that is complete you won't be pressing uh, once again uh, under this folder and you should see results if it doesn't load just try to press this once or two times so it can refresh after you have done that you will go to page three, final reckon and you will find the images what you want to do is you want to be just dropping this on your desktop i'm just going to be pressing download and download this too Boom, nice, and we press that there too. Now you want to be going into Blender. Yo, what's up guys, this is the last step. I'm just going to be going fast over on uh, how you can do this and give you some ideas on how it can be done. For example, you can add different backgrounds, give different lighting and etc. But I'm just going to be showing you pretty basic. So press general and you want to be deleting this cube. Then you want to be going to import and import your obj file. In my case it's stored on desktop so press that and import it. As you can see now you have your man right here. So what you can do now is that if you go to render and render image you can see that you have your man standing on the side. It seems important that when you are making your character you need to make it so that it stands uh, in front of the camera as you can see the camera is located up here so you would have to uh, display this character so that the car the camera can see it here you can change location and here's the rotation so you could for example turn it around so it looks at the camera and what you can do is that you could add a lightning how do you add a lightning you can press on add and uh, now you can go on for example shading here you can add for example lightning uh, press add and you can do light and so many fun ideas you can add sun and just overall you can do a lot of stuff inside here 
But the main point is that you have now have your 3D character and you can start working on it and adding colors. For example, if you want to be adding colors, I would uh, go on YouTube and search on how to paint a uh, Blender character. I'm not going to go in depth uh, with that right now. If you want me to go in depth, go down in the comment section and leave a comment and on what you want to see in the future for this character but i'm going to be showing you how you can actually render this image pretty easily so go on render and you can see view and image press image and press save as i'm going to be saving this as my desktop and uh, press png after you have saved this you can go to your desktop actually and boom we now have your png it's a 3D character, so you can add colors, add a lot of things, add a add a hat. So many things can be done with this, and yeah, I just wanted to go go over and just show you guys that it's actually possible to do this pretty easily. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and peace out.